I got your call. What's up? Uh, what's up is my mother and Uncle Dak are on their way to St. Bart's to get married. I already knew that. Well, then why did you call her and leave that message? Because we have some things to discuss. No, no, Caleb, you don't. What you, you need to do is just leave my mother alone. Okay. Um, I have a little proposition for you. Proposition? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have booked a trip to the Caribbean for one week for a little fun and sun and a wedding. You want to come? If she's uh, already gone, why are you packing her things? Well, Mom and Uncle Jack left in such a hurry that she forgot a few things. I'm bringing them with me. So you're going to the wedding, too? Yeah, along with Opal, Kendall and the kids, maybe even Greenlee, and you're changing the subject. I guess it's going to be at some big fancy resort, huh? Caleb, please don't make this any harder than it has to be. I just... My mom has made it really clear that she's chosen Uncle Jack, and I support her decision. Yeah, yeah, I know. Then why do you want to know where we're staying? We've hired security. Uninvited guests won't be let in. Have a safe flight. Please don't do this. Let my mother go, for your sake. Hold on a minute, back up. You want me to go with you on a trip to the Caribbean? Just you and me. Uh, no, 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 oh, God, no, no. My mom is getting married in St. Bart's. Okay. Yeah, well, I figured as my doctor, you wouldn't want me to travel that far by myself. So you want your doctor to come along with you? Yeah, I mean, you, you don't have to go to the wedding. You don't have to go at all. You can just stay, you can hang out, party a little, it'll be fun. And I, I've already checked with Jake about your schedule. He said whoa, it was good. Whoa, 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 Kendall, hold on, hold on. What? what? Hold on. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do here. You've, you've gone through a lot trying to get... No, 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 no listen, I... No, no more trouble than you went through the other night, trying to arrange that whole, you know... Freezing dinner al fresco. Yeah. yeah. It was, um... It was the most fun I've had in a really long time. So I just, I don't know, think of this as payback. It's very generous. My tan could use some work, but, uh... I got your test results back from your last checkup. You're in good shape to travel anywhere. Oh. Wow. Um, oh, okay. That's... That's great. So... You really don't need me anymore. I don't really know what to do without you nagging me to take care of myself. Uh, you're still gonna have to take care of yourself. Heart transplant patients can never be too careful. Sir. So enjoy yourself at the wedding, you know. Don't don't try to do everything by yourself. Get some help with the kids, you know. I will. I will. Okay. Um oh, I uh I finally started working with the new lawyer. Oh. Yeah, um he is already pushing Zach's estate through probate. Mm. What about the casinos? He thinks they should be sold ASAP. So do I. So you will have your money for the new Miranda Centers any day now. Be nice to finally have them do some good in this world, right? Okay, um, I'm gonna go. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you around. Yeah, have a, have a safe trip. Thanks. I told you to back off! Kendall fired the lawyer that we were paying off. She obviously caught on to the fact that he was blocking the sale. Yeah, I know. Then why the hell didn't you tell me? Because you're a jealous, emotional wreck who's gonna screw everything up. The new lawyer's already made contact. He's raring to sell the casinos. You have to stop Kendall before they get a look at those figures. Are you listening to me? It's taken care of, Mrs. Patterson. Thanks for stopping by. Well, you said it was important. It is. 
Uh, I know my, my mother asked you to officiate her wedding. Yeah, she did. She won't need you anymore. Did something happen? Uh, they decided to, to push up the date and get married outside of the country, so oh. you're off the hook. Well, that's too bad. I was really, really looking forward to it. So where are they getting hitched? Uh, St. Bart's. Kendall and uh, the kids and I are flying out tomorrow. Well, that'll be a really nice trip for Kendall. Something else bothering you? It's my mother. There's, there's this other man. I see. Well, no, no, they're not involved or anything. Well, at least, at least she isn't. This man has feelings for her, and, and he can't accept that she's committed to Uncle Jack. And what exactly are you afraid of? Pain, heartache, a big, ugly scene at the wedding. Oh, these are just all such good people. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I suggest that you trust in one of God's greatest gifts, true love. It really is a powerful thing. And when we have faith in it, we usually end up exactly where we belong. Oh, uh, Caleb. Oh, oh, oh. I understand you're going to Erica's wedding in St. Bart's. Uh, well, yes, yes, I Me am. Too. But no, no, well, no, yes, you're I not am. going, oh, Caleb. Yes, I am. All I'm asking you to do is get me in. You? That's all you have to do is get me in. You're just trying to make trouble. Why are you doing that? I'm not going to make trouble for Dorothy. Like That's hell, you're not. Do. She texted me from that yacht telling me everything you said to her about how you thought the two of you belonged together mm -hmm. and that you were willing to wait. Well, I've changed my mind. I'm not willing to wait. Hi. You look great. Oh, thank you. I um, I feel I feel good. No, you you always look great. It's just you look lighter. Really? You can you can see that? Well, I'm getting to know you, and I don't know. I see a lot. Well, I am feeling hopeful today. Well, Bianca told me that your mom's getting married. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for Erica and the family. It's a real blessing. Thank you. Yeah, well, they've been engaged a while, but this is sort of a shock. Um, mm. My mother, she can be very impulsive. Yeah. yeah? Well, I gotta tell you, I'm just sorry that I don't get to perform the ceremony. Not every minister can say they married Erica Kane. A lot of them can. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I would have loved to have been part of it, you know, for Erica. And, of course, for her amazing daughters. But please, please, send her my very best wishes. I will. Actually, you know what? Um, you can do that yourself. Excuse me? Well, we have an extra room at the villa that, that, that I booked, and I have an extra seat on the plane, so why don't you come with us? It'll be fun. My mother would be so happy if you performed her ceremony. I, I would be so happy, too. Well, I'm pretty booked up. But since it's for you and for your mother, I'll make it work. Yeah? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, gosh, Ricky, this means, this means so much to me. It really does. Um, all right. Um, I'll, I'll give you the details soon, okay? Okay, great. And Kendall, thank you. Isn't that just sweet? What are you doing here? Helen Kendall. Are you crazy? Oh, this Look, get those little stars out of your eyes and realize what a huge problem we're gonna have if she sells those casinos. She won't. It's already happening, Ricky. So what is your plan? Well, Kendall just invited me down to the Caribbean for her mother's wedding. So we're gonna have some alone time away from Castillo. Oh, right. And then somewhere between, what, the first dance and them cutting the wedding cake, she falls in love with you. Who's to say she isn't already? Me. You know what? I might need a little more time, but once she's away from this town, I'm going to keep her away. <laughs> what are you going to do, kidnap her? I'm going to do whatever I have to do to protect her secret, that's what. 
And what about the information that Zack had about the money we stole? I'll what if she it. finds out about that? I'll find it first. And then I'll destroy it. And then what? You really think she's going to leave her family and run off with you? You killed her husband. Here you go. Thank you. Caitlin, has anything I have said gotten through to you at all? Nope. Well, thanks for the drink. Look, you can sit here till hell freezes over. You're not getting it out of me. I am not telling you where Erica is fixing to get hitched, okay? Okay. It's a small island. I'll see you at the wedding. <sighs> so, Caleb is not giving up, huh? No, I'm, I'm worried about Mom and Uncle Jack. And Caleb. I mean, the last woman he loved, he lost, and he spent 20 years on a mountain. So, if the mountain calls him back, the mountain calls him back. Come on, Binks, let them deal with this. You have your own drama to worry about right now. Um, speaking of that, I can't fly out with you. I just found out I have some divorce thing to deal with. Mm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Anyway, the girls and I will just come out the next day. All right. Well, I have invited Ricky to come along. To the wedding? Really? Yeah. I must have been after I told him we didn't need him anymore. Well, I'd already booked a room for somebody else, but they, they couldn't make it, so... Who? Griffin. I, I figured he wouldn't want me traveling without a doctor, but he insisted I was fine, so... You sound disappointed. No, no, of course not. No, actually, it's, um, it's really good news. I'm, I'm healthy. I'm, I'm good. Besides, I'm sure he's going to be busy anyway. Now that I'm finally selling the casinos, he'll have some money for the new Miranda centers. And uh, then he can finally leave Pine Valley. Well, you're going to miss him, aren't you? Hey, Doc. Heard the good news about Kendall. You gave her a clean bill of health. That's right. Well, I'm relieved. And I'm sure she must be, too. What do you want? Not one for small talk, are you? I got patients to see. Okay, okay. I'll make it quick. All right, look. I know that there's been some tension between us because of Kendall. We both care about her. We both want to protect her, right? But that shouldn't make us enemies. Is there a point to this? Yes, okay. There's a point. Kendall just invited me to go to St. Bart's for her mother's wedding. You have no problem with that, do you? I think you going with Kendall's a great idea. You do? Yeah. Even though she's healthy and strong, she shouldn't be alone. So look after her. Oh, I will. Yes, I will. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you, but my car just quit on me in front of your house, and my cell phone died before I could call for help. Is it possible for me to use your phone? Um, sure. Um, sure, of course. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. Come in. I appreciate it. <laughs> 